Welcome back to Scooby D and today we're putting a new muffler on the Chinese diesel heater. Now the Chinese diesel heater has worked really well for me. I pretty much had no problems at all except for the thing that holds the diesel pump on that kind of rubber kind of holder of plastic rubber uh, came loose and I had to put it on another way but besides that in three years Chinese diesel heat has been really good. However, when you're in a quiet location, which this isn't really, um, it is quite noisy when you have it on full power. So we're just gonna have a look around here and uh, I've got the diesel heater on full power. It won't sound that loud with the ambient noise here, but it is on. And I've got my iPhone sound meter there, which is a meter away from the thing. And we're getting, it's sort of fluctuating somehow, but we're getting So let's say we're getting about 72 decibels of sound coming out of that. Now, I've bought, for 50 pounds, I bought a proper Urbispatcher muffler, which actually came connected with official stainless steel piping as well. So you get for 50 pounds, you get a lot. Now, it's not a lot bigger than the Chinese one, but it does sound more dense when you tap it. So anyway, we're gonna put it on and uh, we're gonna see whether it actually makes any difference. What I'm thinking is, is that you're gonna see maybe uh, five decibels of difference, but the sound is not going to be as high pitched as that. That kind of sound that you can hear there. I think it'll be a lower pitch, which will make more of a difference than the 5 dB. So let's see. Aha, so here we are back again, and I've put the new muffler on from Urbispatcher, and uh, I had to lift my my uh, hat up a little bit because it is quieter now let's see how much quieter it is again it's not a particularly quiet area here so it's difficult to test and I, I should have done it somewhere quieter but what we have on the meter let's have a look Okay, so that looks like about 66 dB average. Last time, the average was about 72. So we are seeing a five to six dB difference there. We are also hearing a quieter, a slightly less high pitched sound. Um, you can still hear it. We're gonna go down here. You can still hear it. But as I say, that's a five to six dB difference and it's a lower sound. Is it really quiet? No. Is it better? Definitely. Well, I'll put my flaps up, see? So we're back again and in a slightly quieter uh, location. I've taken off the old Chinese muffler and uh, actually it's not in as bad condition as I thought. This um, aluminium pipe, I thought it rusted out more, but um, it probably would have lasted another year or two. So I could have just bought the muffler and put it on the end. But anyway, we've got a whole new system now, which I'll show you now. Let's put it under here. There we go. That is the, the whole new system there put on. I think you can see that okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna turn it on and see um what we get we've got the sbl meter again here and that is showing okay so that's the diesel heater on full power and it's showing um, an average now of about 67 decibels Remember last time we did it, it was showing 72, so that's five decibels different. However, we do have a concrete floor here, which is gonna echo the sound more and um, some other, um, like a car vibe by me. So it's not an exact science, but what I can say is, is it is quieter and it is a lower pitch, but you can still hear it. So a noticeable improvement. Worth 50 pounds? If you're tight, you've got much money? Probably not. But if you can afford it and you don't want to annoy other van lifers that are, you know, like at six, say for instance, you wake up at six in the morning, you're in the mountains, it's dead quiet and you're wide awake and you're like, I need to put the heater on. And you've got other van lifers near you up in a the mountain there, 
that's the time when you're like, Phew, I don't know if I want to put it on just yet. So for that 5 dB of difference, in that sense, I think it's worth it. It's probably not as quiet as I'd hoped it would be, if I'm honest, but it is better. <laughs> Okay, that's good news. That's good news. We're not smelling it in here. I'm just going to put up the, um, put it back up up into high. For my little remote here, you can see right by the bed. Nice and easy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's up five degrees. And if you're interested, that's where I have had the output for the vent. It just comes out there and hits along the floor and um, heats up the whole wagon. What does happen is, is that I have some dry food cabinets here and there's a little air vent which goes into the garage at the back which causes enough air to be sucked into that and then through the back. Um, I haven't got the light on there. Hold on, this bit got a lot of coats there. Yeah, through the back there, the air comes up and then slowly comes across the roof comes back down and creates a really good circular event. Um, maybe I've just got lucky, but it works really well. Um, obviously the back of the van is the last to get warm as well as the front of the van. Um, but the circulation of the air works really well and there's certainly nothing damp in the garage generally, but even more so when the diesel heat is on. That's it for me. Let me know if you've fitted a, a new muffler to your Chinese diesel heater and what success you've had with it. Perhaps the Urbispacha muffler is not as good as the Webasto one. Uh, the Webasto one does look a little bit bigger and it's a bit more expensive. So maybe that's the one to go for. But I'll be interested to hear from you if you've fitted a new muffler to your cheap diesel heater and how you've got on. Okay, bye for now. We'll catch you later.